We've sent messages out into space, hoping that aliens might one day respond. Is it possible that in this amazing year of 2020, where everything seems to have gone wrong, we may have actually finally received a radio message from another species? Has AET finally called back? The Breakthrough Listen project is a £70 million 10-year project. Its ambition is to detect the signs of alien technology. Ideally, to detect the signs of aliens' radio signals. In April and May of 2020, during a 30-minute observation, they may have detected such a signal coming from Proxima Centauri, a red dwarf star just 4.2 light-years away from Earth, the closest star system to our own. Even after up to eight months of research and eight months looking at this signal, the scientists involved have still not discovered a man-made or a terrestrial reason for it. The focus of the signal and the strength do tend to suggest that it is not natural, or at least not a natural radio signal that we currently understand. Furthermore, during the transmission, there was a slight shift in the frequency. This frequency shift seems to be consistent with a moving planet. So what does that mean? Well, it means that this radio signal was sent from a planet. A planetary body orbiting a star alien to our own. By the way, this signal was detected in Australia by the Parkes Observatory. Now, previously the Parkes Observatory was most famous for its work during the Apollo missions. This was a primary site for the radio communications to be relayed from the Moon to NASA control. This observatory really had a pivotal role in one of mankind's biggest firsts. Now, it may have a pivotal role in one of mankind's biggest firsts all over again. Lights on, forward, forward, 40 feet down, two and a half, picking up some dust, straight shadow, four forward, drift into the right a little, 30 seconds, forward, just, contact light, okay, engine stop, we copy you down, Eagle, Houston, uh, Tranquility Base here, the Eagle has landed. So is it possible that we might have actually received a radio signal from an alien world? Well, as Proxima Centauri is actually the closest star system to our own, we've been observing it for many decades and we actually know quite a lot about it. First of all, this is actually three stars. There is a binary star and then a red dwarf. It's around the red dwarf that there's the most interesting possibility. Because we know that orbiting that red dwarf are two large planets. One, a gaseous planet, and the second, a rocky planet, quite similar to the Earth. Only 17% bigger. But most importantly, that planet is in the Goldilocks zone. The Goldilocks zone means that it's not too close and not too far away from the star. Water can flow and pool on the planet's surface. This basically means that life could, in theory at least, exist there. Now, we of course have to be very careful. Does everybody remember the WOW signal from 1977? That turned out to possibly be a comet, even though we still really don't know. Again, in 1997, Jill Tata here, former SETI director, believes she might have discovered an alien radio signal, only to then find out she was actually detecting the SOHO spacecraft that was in orbiting our own sun. What do I think? Has this Australian observatory really detected a signal from aliens? Well, look, let's put it this way. If it's going to be an advanced alien species, of alien species that could actually travel between the stars and visit us on Earth, then I very much doubt this is a signal from that type of species. I very much doubt a species capable of interstellar travel would still be using radio. But... A species roughly at our level of capability, of our level of technology, sending radio signals out, then yes, of course, and we should be listening to them. And we are only going to hear radio signals from species that are, in theory, close to us. So is it possible? Yes, of course it's possible. Is it likely? 
probably not that even though I believe life does fill the universe it would be amazing to consider that our immediate next door neighbors also has intelligent life on it unless of course we find out that life is far more abundant than we realize a recent study suggested that we might be the only intelligent life in the universe and that is not possible for me I imagine life is everywhere intelligent life might be far rarer but life I imagine fills the universe and if this radio signal really is from an extraterrestrial species then maybe we are one member of a vast cosmic community if you are new to my channel please like subscribe hit that bell notification it really helps us out